Hello, my name is Eve. Thank you so much for joining me here today. And I send out videos approximately one a week, and I'm going to really be focused on keeping that schedule going. On my Instagram channel, I also put out sometimes a couple different messages throughout the week, or I'll do a weekly message. So do check that out as well. My website is below, evelly.com. I have all my most recent lectures posted, all of my deep meditations. I completed the 12 meditations, one for each astrological sign, if you want to check that out, okay? And then for this video today, I'm focusing on the journey of love through the fall equinox. And I'm looking at it from the masculine point of view. And then I'll also be looking at it from the divine feminine point of view. Always take what resonates with you. I would really, really love comments. Anyone that wants to subscribe or if you want to get on my email, YouTube list. Some people don't want to be part of YouTube, so just let me know and I can put you onto that list. Okay, so before I was getting started, I was actually getting a lot of messages and these started coming in yesterday. Now this is for the fall equinox, which is September 23rd through December 21st. The winter solstice, if you are here on the Pacific coast of the U.S. and going further west, it will actually be coming in, I believe, the late night of December 21st. The winter solstice will be coming in, and everywhere else in the world, it will be absolutely coming in on December 22nd. So I want to do a general overview first, and then the timestamps will be listed below. For some, maybe all you want is the overview, and for others, um, decide if you are the divine masculine or the divine feminine here. And this is irrespective of whether you are a male or a female. It's simply which one of those two energies do you feel like you are resonating with most in your life, or at least at this time in your life. And another way to approach it is, you know, we both are both the masculine and the feminine. So you could look at the whole video if you want and just kind of take what resonates for you because I'm really trying to reach a lot of different groups here. So some messages will fit one group and other messages will fit another group. The messages I was already getting is for those in relationships that there are children on the way Pregnancies on the way, if some people don't quite know that yet, it's coming. Some know they're pregnant and they're giving birth in the next couple months or next year. Getting um, a strong message around shifting in the family dynamic. So that could be things going on with the family. Parents, grandparents, uncles, cousins, a lot of messages around family with those of you that are in um, a long-term partnership or marriage. And then the other message I had for those of you that are in partnership is take time to spend with one another because I was seeing overwork going on here that whether you're raising children or you're just each so busy with your career that you're not putting in the time for the marriage or the partnership. Please take that time in these next couple of weeks to do that. And I also got an affirmation from a client today that that's exactly what she and her husband did. And they just got back from a wonderful long vacation because he's being deployed. So that fits very well into this scenario. And then another message I got is some of you might be getting engaged or the relationship is moving to the next level. And the last thing I wanted to say about partnerships and some of you are getting out of them. Okay, so there's many different groups here. And then of course we have all the single people out there who are very ready for love to come into their life now. Now the different card groups that I'm using, and I am using a lot, so this is probably gonna be a long video. Uh, the Whispers of Love by Angela Hartfield. 
The Psychic Tarot for the Heart by John Holland. The Syrian Starseed Tarot by Patricia Corey and Alyssa Bartha. I love this deck, love it. Angels, Gods, and Goddesses by Tony Carmen Salerno. The Divination of the Ancients Guidebook by Barbara Meckel John Free and Flavia Kate Peters. And then I also use the Goddess deck by Green Virtue. The last one is my crystal deck. I can't find the, the sheet right now, but you'll see that. I'll put it all below in the description. Now let's get started with the overview here. Let me put this off to the side. There we go. And then I'm going to say bye to the visual so you can all see the cards. I just kind of wanted to interact with you guys a little bit more today. I haven't, you haven't shown my face in quite a while. Now, as we get started, this is the overview here. And I got a very, very profound message for all of you divine masculines and divine feminines out there. And it's the union of hearts. There is a connect, this is a connection of love that defies explanation. And I want to start with that. Look how it matches that, my picture up there. Beautiful energy from the earth. This is, this union of hearts is the union of your soul counterpart. It's that divine counterpart to your soul. It's another soul other than your own soul entering into wholeness who's a reflection, an electromagnetic, resonant reflection to you. And those are the relationships that I refer to as true love. You can give them any name you want, twin soul, twin flame, sacred counterpart, There's another word out there other than soulmate. It's, it's defying me right now, so we'll just leave it. But I like to call it a union of sacred hearts because you're really coming together from a heart space. Your hearts are merging energetically, not physically, but energetically they are. And these are these sacred unions. Now, how to define them is you simply can't. So when you ask me, Eve, well, how do I know? If I've met someone like this, how do I know that that is that person? It's when you cannot explain how you feel. There are not enough words in our different vocabularies, whatever language you speak, English, French, Spanish, Hindi, Arabic, whatever it is. There are simply no words to fully describe how you feel about this person, the connection, the energy that you feel when they are around you. And understand, these sacred unions are meant to be coming together on the earth at this time because they are the mission. They're here on mission to raise the frequency and vibration of the earth plane and the human collective. It is essential that we come into these sacred unions and we have to really work with our belief systems here and our judgments because we're bringing with us so many limited belief systems and old paradigms and these sacred unions are here to defy them to break the old paradigms down what does that mean oh that means you may be a student falling in love with your teacher or your mentor your guru you may be a man who's always been heterosexual his whole life and suddenly he's attracted to another man and you don't understand what's happening. You could come from opposite ends of the planet Earth, different cultures, different religions, different belief systems and not know what to do here. And the other big one that we are really knocking out of the playing field is ageism. You know, it's been accepted over millennia since we've been in a very patriarchal world for millennia that it was okay for men to marry and date women any, anywhere from 5, 10, 20 to 30 years younger and so on, you know, didn't matter. There was no qualifier here. What we're doing today, though, 
is it's going in the opposite direction. And there's a big paradigm right there, a big paradigm shift that we're seeing occur. Now, all of these paradigm breakdowns are necessary to bring in the sacred union of hearts because this is a soul level union. It is not about the physical appearance, okay? Or what we put onto the physical human part. It's much deeper and vaster than that, okay? That's what was so important for me to talk about that here. Now let's look at the overview from the angels. And I was getting this message, angel of healing. The angels have felt your sadness and they have shown up today to send you healing. I was feeling like so many of you have already been going through so much healing, and yet there is more to come. This year of 2019 and 2020 as well, these are the two years of love. Love returning, new love coming in, reconciliation, old love returning. Why? Because we have Mercury retrograde in both of these years in water signs. And the water signs are about the heart the emotional body. In this year, particularly particularly though, 2019, we had Mercury retrograde in Pisces back in March into the beginning of April. It was all of March and then all of July was in Cancer. And now all of November, late October, November, it will be in Scorpio. And the next year, we're gonna have it go into Pisces and then back into late Aquarius but it will also go through Cancer and Scorpio as well. So we're getting two years where we get to get a really deep healing at the heart level in terms of love and partnerships, okay? Notice how his hands, okay, his light is, the light is going from the angel's eyes all across her heart and down to her sacral, and her solar plexus there. So very deep healing occurring here. This is also telling you that there's so much guidance around you and so much healing coming from the divine and your angels and your guides. And I love that we have all of those colors of healing, which are primarily the greens and the light blues as well. Then we have the yellow, the illumination. And look at his angel wings, they're in the form of the heart. Your heart is healing. This is beautiful, beautiful news. Let's look at the other two messages, and then we'll get on to the masculine part, the goddess of knowledge. Start to apply what you already know and trust your intuition. You know the answers. They already lie inside of you. All you need to do is access them. Again, we're having that emphasis here with her holding the ball the world. She's embracing the world with her heart and then the flame on her third eye, which is sacred knowledge. It's about unleashing your sacred knowledge, your inner skills. What I'm also getting is this is around romance because that's what I'm asking about here for all of you. And it's telling me that you know the answer. You know the answer to who your beloved is. You know that answer. Access that deeper intuition. Access that knowledge. But the goddess of knowledge is also saying you've been on a very, very steep path of healing and gaining knowledge and wisdom so that you can be ready for these sacred beloveds. You know whether you've met them yet or there's someone coming back into your life or whether you're living with them and in partnership with them right now. Either way, if you're in partnership with them, there's a healing that's occurring on your partnership and the knowledge that you two have gained and learned together, that wisdom, you are now applying it so that you can raise your partnership to the next level of love. It's a beautiful message. But uh, uh, the last thing I want to say about the goddess of knowledge, I'm being told it's a time to communicate. Don't stand back and not share how you feel or what you think. And in particular, I am telling this to all of you who are holding the divine masculine. It is the time on the planet Earth for the divine masculines to rise 
and to move towards their sacred counterpart and let them know how they really feel. It's also time for the Divine Feminine to not, she's not meant to be carrying that torch anymore, running ahead of the masculine. She's meant to be sitting back in reflective mode, in self-healing mode, in deep internal introspective mode, and to just be open when the divine masculine, whoever that is, male or female, arrives. Now let's look, look at the last guidance here from the div divination of the ancients. I think I'm going to have to read this one. It's the black cat. Good luck. I love this card. I am telling you, this card almost never comes out. It is telling you that there is destiny afoot in your life right now. And if you look at my last video for the Harvest Moon, the card of destiny did come in. So this is a card, another card of destiny here. There is a pathway. See the pathway that cat is on? See all the golden light there? You are meant to follow that spiritual pathway of, of higher consciousness now. Good luck is waiting for you. I'm seeing a lot of abundance with this message as well. Let me pause this to get my glasses out. Alrighty then. Here she is with her reading glasses. I, I didn't need these until this year. But you know what? Here I am. This is who I am. <laughs> Black cat, good luck. My luck has changed. Well, fancy that as my path crossed with a black cat. And so I win in all I do with feline help. My dreams come true. Feline help. Aha. Uh -huh. The divine feminine is helping here. Lady Luck is on your side. No matter what you do, you just can't lose. Rest assured you will land on your feet just like a cat. Now go for it. Your positive thoughts and intentions have brought about good fortune. So this is a message for those who have been working very diligently and hard on that uh, their self journey here. And your journey, your time has arrived. That's what I'm getting. Your time is here. It's now. Good news arrives. An offer is the one you've been waiting for. Interesting message, an offer. All righty. So let's get started with the masculine reading. And I'm going to go ahead and put this down now. Let's see if I can get all these things out of the way. Here we go. Beautiful. So this is for all of you carrying the divine masculine energies. Whether you're a male or a female, it does not matter. Okay, let me see, I need to adjust this just, just slightly here. I've got pulled a lot of cards for all of you. Okay, and remember this is for the entire fall equinox, so we're looking at a three month window. The first card I pulled is from the goddess deck, and it's Kuan Yin, the goddess of compassion. Release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and the light that is within everyone. So the divine masculines, you've been on a journey of learning compassion, forgiveness. I'm getting the word forgiveness. It's forgiveness of the past, though, of things that have happened in the past. Maybe situations or relationships of love that you were involved with where you know now looking back that you could have shown up so much better. But it's a time to forgive that now, to recognize that you're on a pathway of learning here and to have really deep, infinite compassion for your journey and for yourself. Everything is about learning. You have arrived now. You're at the right place. You have learned what you needed to learn. Continue to bring compassion in as your guidance here. And call on beloved Kuan Yin whenever you need that extra guidance. Okay? So let's look at the crystals that I got. How interesting. I got hematite, which is a deep, deep, dark black crystal. It's a very powerful grounding stone. It is also a stone of self-protection. You want to use it when you're out of your body. You need to get in your body. You need to get grounded. You need to just simply breathe. 
So let's see what it says. Align to your wholeness. It's for anyone who is stagnating or spun out. In other words, you're not in your body. You've been ungrounded. You need to ground. When to use it, when you feel stuck, when it's that moon time of the month, when you want to pull energy from the earth below and use it to make big things happen. So use the hematite as a way of breathing and centering yourself. Align with your wholeness and align with your compassion. These are the tools that you are using now. And the other card I got was bloodstone. Beautiful green with these almost blood red dots. You know, the bloodstone, so we have hematite and bloodstone. Those are both stones that are used on the first and the second chakras. So for you divine masculines, there's something that you're healing and clearing in that area of your body. And oftentimes, that's where forgiveness comes in too, okay? Power up your vitals. Bloodstone is an earthy green, green chal chalcedony spattered with seriously activating red jasper. In the Middle Ages, some believed that the red splotches on this stone surface were the blood of Christ. So bloodstone is considered one of the most sacred stones. Divine Masculines, this is another reiteration or message that you are indeed on a spiritual journey right now. You are elevating your consciousness level. You want to use this whenever you have important spiritual, physical, or psychological work to do. And it's for those who are constantly overworked and completely drained. You need sleep, rest, rejuvenation, and to take care of yourself and ground yourself. So those are the tools and those are the messages there. Now let's look at the tarot. We are going to start... Well, that one fell on the floor. Okay, so I have five cards here. The three of chalices. I'm going to put them all around. The Adept of Orbs, which is the Knight of Swords. The Master of Flames, which is the Master of Fire or Wands. The Lovers, beautiful. And the Eight of Flames. Okay. The Three of Chalices. And this is, I'm going to read this as these are messages, I think, for different groups of masculines. I don't think they apply to all the same group. So take what resonates for you. For some, you have filled these three cups. You've, you're on a honeymoon or you've gone on a beautiful vacation with your beloved. You're in a beautiful partnership. You're in celebration of your partnership and your union. And I'm, this is the card I'm getting not only for marriage or engagement, I'm also getting it for a celebration of the child coming in. So here's you and your beloved and the child. So this is, but you can also look at it as you and your beloved and the relationship. But I'm getting children here is the message I'm getting. And that it's time for you to celebrate your life and your partnership. Beautiful message. And then the... Let me look and see. Okay, nope, I'm going to leave that one. The Knight of Orbs, the Adept of Orbs, which is the Knight of Swords. This is, I'm getting that this is for those of you that are single. Okay, so we had the first card for those in partnership. And these, this is for someone who's single, but they want to offer. They're headed towards someone. And the air energy, like the fire, is very, very fast. So this is a masculine who is making up his mind, or he's already made up his mind, and he wants to go after this romantic opportunity or this beloved that he knows very deep inside of his body and his soul that is the one for him. And he's going after her. He's coming up to her as a knight. He's going to offer her something. And the night is a mental energy. And so I'm going to just put it out there for all of you beautiful divine masculines. 
really sit there and get crystal clear in your mind about how you want to communicate to this person, whether it's a male or female. How do you want to bring in this communication? What kind of offering do you want to make? And of course, you know, we could put these two cards together. And there is a third possibility here. And that is that the Divine Masculine is looking at three different cups, three different possibilities. And maybe you need to make a decision. I'm getting a, another message too that some of you may be meeting a beloved at a wedding or a celebration of some form. Yeah, a lot of messages coming through. And then the Master of Flames, which is the King of Fire, is, yeah, this is the masculine. This is a sign of the masculine who's arrived. He's illuminated. The sun is behind him. He's at peace. He's at one and at whole, in a place of deep inner wholeness. He has mastered his instincts. He's reached a place where he feels like he's, he has the direction he wants to be in in his life. He knows what that direction is. A lot of creative and passionate energy is coming through this card. So right now we have three of the elements. We have all the water signs, we have all the air signs, and we have all the fire signs listed right there. And so we have the heart energy. So we know the masculines are really working with the heart and the compassion. They're also working on their communication skills and what they want to bring forth and they feel like they know exactly what they want where their passion is going and then the last two cards are the lovers and the eight of flames so we don't have an earth card here but that's okay because we got the earth cards from the minerals right so all of the four elements are, are all of and all of the 12 signs are delineated here the lovers and the eight of flames coming into union with your sacred beloved. But the Eight of Flames is showing you also that you need to have the courage to jump in to this wholeness because this is a union of the sacred beloved that I'm seeing here. And you know it. This isn't a simple friends with benefit or let's do this karmic relationship. I really like this person. I see a future with us, you know, let's, but let's do it based on that we have similar likes, we're compatible on paper, but what about compatible on the soul level? That's what I am here to ask you. Are you compatible on the soul level? Because this is telling you that's what you're needed, needing to go through right now. You need the compatibility on the soul level. Now the eight of flames has another meaning. It's, it's the eight, it's the infinity symbol. You have arrived. You have completed whatever cycle, because I'm seeing the Wheel of Fortune embedded in that. See it? Your luck, oh, the cat, the black cat, your luck is about to change. Your luck is about to change. Destiny is coming in and it is moving you in a brand new direction. This is, oh, this is unbelievable. Masculines, you are really rising and you are going in such a beautiful direction. Let's look at the Tarot of the Heart for some extra guidance, and then we'll do the Romance Angels. I love my new table, except the, it's hard to get the cards <laughs> over sometimes. There we go. New Vitality. Yeah, remember what I said with the stones they were showing for some of you? Overwork, exhaustion, needing to revive yourself, get centered, get back grounded into your body and you're bringing in new vitality. But this is the one of fire, the one of wands. It also goes with the flame energy we have here. We're a lot of fire energy, which the fire energy is all about new beginnings, by the way. And the one of wands is new creative ventures, new beginnings in, in passion. And look at this, it's all the colors of the rainbow. So you're creating this new pathway from a place of centeredness. You've put a lot of thought, learning, experience into getting where you're going here and you know what you wanna build now. This is also an offer of new vitality into love. You're wanting to create new love and you're doing so because you've gone through the dark night of the soul. 
challenging times. You've gone through the crisis, the, the tower, the death, if you want to call it that, the transition. You've gone through times where you lost, you lost the five of wands. You lost something, something you had to leave behind here, or you literally lost it. You could have lost money. You could have lost a business, gotten separated, or literally your partner walked out on you. For some, though, I'm seeing that you had to go through this. This is, without a doubt, the dark night of the soul. The challenging times helped you build your higher consciousness and to recognize, because this is a wands energy, which is the spiritual body, the purple, the spiritual body. You had to recognize that this crisis had to occur so that you wouldn't be guided 100% by the physical world. You are giving over the guidance to your spiritual body now and raising your consciousness level. And when you raise your consciousness, see how now when he's looking out, it's almost like he can see above the trees where before you weren't able to do that. There was a great learning that you've been going through, Divine Masculine. And that learning has taken you through a time period that you're still in. You're not completed with this. Some of you are still going through this in the fall, by the way. Some of you are out of it, starting these new ventures. Some of you are still in the crisis or the divorce or the separation or the custody battle or whatever it is, or the loss of the business. Uh, I'm getting a sense that people are traveling. They're changing destinations. And that's going to be happening over the next couple of months. You're opening up more and more to your inner guidance and your heart. That is the four of pentacles. So it's opening up, listening to that higher guidance coming in here. But it's also wanting to bring in stability. It's when you listen, though, to the higher guidance and your heart that you can build new and more stable foundations because I'm getting a message about building foundations. I think some of you uh, really went through a really big um, financial chaotic time, time frame is what I'm getting, okay? And then what you've been doing and you're opening up here, you've been opening up your third eye chakra. So you've been seeking divine higher guidance. You've been listening to your intuitive body and to your soul. You're embodying that. Look at all these purple cards here. You're embodying the spiritual journey. Wow, I love it. And then the last message here is control. That is the, the strength card. And so the last message for all you divine masculine, and we have the eight. Look at that, eight of flames and the eight. Double eights. Eights are the number of success ambition, new ambitions, new successful ventures. But this is around love. Now, mind you, I'm getting a message about business and work too here. So take it as it comes. But I want you to know the success that I'm picking up here in the double eight is around really wanting to build successful partnerships and relationships. And these are all based on love whether it's with a sacred beloved that is your true love counterpart or in a sacred business partnership. They both apply here. But you're, you're getting there because you now have gained control. You know the direction you need to go in now. And you've built strength and courage. This is the strength card and the courage card. And one of the messages you know that I've been getting all year for masculines is... You have to build up the strength and the courage to go after what you desire in the very depth and fiber of your being. And that is your true love. You have to have the courage to go after that person, knowing that they could reject you, knowing they could say, I don't feel the same way about you, or knowing that they're not quite ready, that they've gone through their own process and they're still in a place of healing and they want to take it slow and they could just give you an offer and say, you know what, I, I have feelings for you, but I'm not ready for this. Can we work on the friendship? And then you have to decide if you can do that. And I'm going to ask you to please say yes. Let's look at the romance angels. Okay, children. Yeah, I was getting a message for those in partnership 
that something's going on with children. Maybe there is a custody thing that's been happening and being resolved as you guys separate or split up or divorce. But then for others, it's that there's children coming in. For one, you already have a child and there's a second coming in. For some, maybe it's twins or your first child. And then for a whole nother group of you that are in partnership or single, but feeling the clock ticking, and I said that like I'm talking to women here. Well, men can feel that too, by the way. Hello, um, you're wanting children. So just take it as it resonates. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So some of you are going through some very challenging, and notice how it came under challenging times. You've been going through a lot of challenging times in your relationship. Ah, new vitality, children, perfect. And I'm being guided to tell you, I'm getting two messages here. For some, it's yes, you need to work on the partnership. Go to counseling together, but get clear on it first. Meditate, retreat, go into your own sacred space. Take a separation for a while. Go on your own retreat somewhere with friends or, on, or by yourself and get clear if this, if you really do see that person as your sacred beloved, because sometimes the challenges don't have to do with how you feel about one another. It has to do with worldly things, family things, parents, work environments, health issues that are taking a toll on the partnership. So please get clear on how, where the love is here and then make your decision. And if you realize the love is there, work on the partnership, work through the challenging, challenging times and realize that it's about opening up more. You're going to have to open up more to make this relationship work. And for others, it's about letting it go, saying goodbye. You've already been working on it and it's time to say goodbye. Wow. Okay. And then I'm getting this for a whole nother set of people, soulmate, heart-to-heart -heart conversations and getting to know each other. Now the soulmate is can be anything, That's but that is a sacred contract. That is being with someone who is a sacred counterpart to you. And that is a beautiful card. You can see how deeply in love they are. Those of you that are single, or you just met someone or just slowly starting to date them or slowly getting to know, aha, uh -huh, there we go, getting to know them. I'm being told, take your time. There's no reason to rush in Divine Masculine. Please get to know them first. Decide whether they are that sacred soul to yours. But you gotta get to know them to know if that they really are that for you, right? Okay. And lastly, I want to say for all of these, all of you groups of masculines, whether you're in a relationship that needs work, a relationship that is doing well but would like to get even stronger, or whether you're single, you need to have heart to heart conversations. This is about always being honest. So if you want to save your relationship, you have to come from the heart. You have to speak the truth. There's, you cannot withhold anymore. This is not a time for withholding. And if there's that beautiful woman or male out there that you've had your eye on for a while, approach them. Tell them how you feel. You can do it slowly, but don't, don't withhold. Okay, that's the message I'm getting so strongly. And I'm also getting a message from that some of you divine masculines, you've been in love with a certain person who's not in your life. You've been in separation for a long time. And you've realized in this journey here that she is your, she or he is your beloved. And you want to come to them. You want to approach them. You want to tell them the truth. But I'm sensing a lot of anxiousness and I'm sensing fear. And I'm sensing that you've been thinking about it, going back and forth with that thought form pretty much since this year began or even last year. 
and you just didn't have the courage to come in. But I'm telling you, the time is now and you have the courage. So let's get the very last card here from the Whispers of Love for the Divine Masculine. New love. Embrace this new opportunity of love that is here. You are being given the stars. This is not about compromising. It's about reaching for the stars. Your sacred beloved, your divine sacred counterpart. New love, whether it's new love coming into an existing partnership that's gone through some hard times and difficulties, and, but it's growing, or it's just your the new love within your partnership is, is blossoming even more. You know where you are here, but I'm sensing this card in particular is really meant for those that haven't been with the true love. They haven't been with them. They've either just gotten out of a divorce or a relationship, or they've been single for a while, or they've just been dancing from relationship to relationship. It's time to bring in the true love. Okay? Thank you so much, Divine Masculine. We're now going to go to... Okay, this is for the Divine Feminine Energy on the journey of love through the fall equinox. I loved the message for the Divine Masculines, so let's see what we have for the Divine Feminines. Now, I haven't put the whole spread out this time. I'm going to just do one card at a time. Let's start with the Goddess. Sekhmet, be strong. You are stronger than you think you are, and your strength assures a happy outcome. I have said this so many times before in my YouTube videos about this card. I believe in the goddess deck. She is a representation of the beloved, of the twin soul, the twin flame, the sacred counterpart. But she's also a representation of the human angelic, which I believe so many of us are. Our consciousness being aware that we are both the divine masculine and we are the and we are the divine feminine we sit on that throne of balance and we sit on that throne of unity this is a card of unity you are as the divine feminine you have gone through such a very long journey here i'm getting a very long journey for many of you it's been a journey at the very least 10 months to a year to a decade and beyond that many of you have been on. And now you, you're you here, you've arrived, you are on your throne. Be strong, your strength, your ability to build that inner courage, to build upon your strength is why you have arrived, why you are here. You feel so much more self-confident, self-assured, self-reliant, you can do this. And if you need to continue to do it on your own as a single parent or alone as not having a partner in a relationship, then you are willing to do that. That's the message I'm getting for some of you. And for some, you've been on the single pathway for a very long time and you really are ready to share that throne. <laughs> I'm laughing because that was the message they just gave me. You are ready divine queen for your king. Let's look at the crystal that we got, pyrite. Now, isn't that interesting? Pyrite is a golden crystal, and Sekhmet has the colors of gold and purple. Purple is divine higher consciousness as well as transmutation and transformation, and gold is wisdom, divine wisdom and integrity. And pyrite is also a stone about bringing in balance with your masculine energy. Look at this. We're having this beautiful balance occurring here for those of you that are carrying the divine feminine where you're really balancing the divine masculine energy inside of you. Call on your core power. Pyrite is also a stone of abundance, though. So I'm feeling like a lot of divine feminines out there are really growing their abundance. They're growing in terms of financially and in terms of their mission and their work. Pyrite can also be used as a stone of sensuality, by the way. Aha, uh -huh. beautiful messages. So let's look 
at the tarot cards I pulled from the Syrian deck, and then we will read them. I think I pulled five cards, or was it six? Beautiful. Wow. Taking it all in, taking it all in. The Four of Flames. There you go. You have your, you have your castle, and now you have your throne. The Divine Feminine is here now. She's on her throne on planet Earth. This is for the entire feminine collective, by the way. Embrace and body the divine sacred feminine within and embody that passion. Look at these four flames in the castle. The drawbridge is there. The roses are on either side of it. We're getting so much golden energy, which is passion, creativity, the, the divine wisdom of creator source. It's also about igniting your own inner flame and your own inner flame is your soul, your divine spirit and connecting with your soul counterpart, your flame. The four of flames is considered by many in the tarot deck, the union. And there we have it. So, but what this is telling me is that the divine feminines are very focused on these sacred unions and coming into them. And they are okay to be on their own for as long as needs to be, need, as they need to be, because they're not going to be in any other relationship than in this one, okay? That's also about the inner relationship, the higher self, divine feminines, you have reached a place of very deep inner knowledge. Remember we had the goddess of knowledge in the overview. You are listening to your intuition, you are listening to your higher self, to that deep inner knowledge. The moon is guiding you. I'm getting a message around water signs here and around lunar events. And you know, the number two can also be seen as an 11. And it can also be seen as the sign of Gemini. And it's interesting how in this card, there's that reflection. We're seeing, getting these reflections here. See the twin reflection here? This, you know, there could be a lot of people watching my videos who are sun sign Geminis, rising Geminis. They could have their moon sign there, or maybe their Venus and Mars are in Gemini. Um, but I'm getting, maybe there's a lot of Geminis that watch me, okay? But Gemini's also the sacred twins, the sacred beloved. And it's the energy of communication. So this is a time for the sacred feminine to want to be in communication within herself, between her higher self and her, and her human self, her personality and her soul. But she also wants to be in communication with her sacred partner, whether he is here with her, he or she with her in the physical yet or not. But I'm telling you, Sekhmet is a physical manifestation, by the way. So I believe you are going to get the physical manifestation of your partner. And the Four Flames is, in a, is a physical manifestation with a castle as well. But I'm being guided to tell you, I think this is happening in the time of water energy. And we had that over the summer when we had all the cancer. The next time is Scorpio time. And you know, Mercury is gonna keep the Scorpio energy going for two months. So we enter Scorpio time the minute Mercury enters it, which I think is around October 3rd, going into the pre-shadow October 12th. So we get into not even the middle of October and we're already starting to bring in water energy. But then this is also about full moons. So notice how the full moons are perhaps very significant for bringing in messages about your love life or maybe that sacred counterpart is coming in around a full moon. And I, I'm gonna keep going with that full moon energy because the star seed is the fool in the tarot deck. A brand new beginning in love is coming. A brand new beginning. You know, it's interesting. I've been speaking to the divine feminines that are pretty much single. And I also wanna be able to speak to those that are in a beautiful partnership. So let me backtrack for a, mo a moment because that would include you already have your castle and your king. 
And for those of you that are already in a beautiful partnership, and you know this is the partnership, it's very clear that you're the queen and he's the king, whether you're male or female, that you have this union. And it's time now to go in and build an even deeper and a stronger foundation. What new, what, what's the new venture you two are going to go on together? Because now Starseed comes in for both of you, whether you are on the single pathway so far, looking for that love, or you are in partnership. There is a brand new pathway. And this is a pathway of higher consciousness. This is a divine pathway. And it is coming in very quickly. Very, very quickly. I'm getting right away the full moons we're having for the rest of this year are going to be very powerful activators here. So please pay attention to those. I'm also getting a message about October and November, specifically those two months, okay? Now let's look at the other two cards, the Ten of Chalices. You have arrived. Oh my God, Divine Feminines, you, you're getting it all. You are getting your kingdom, your foundation, the creative energy and ventures that you want to create and you're also getting the love you are getting the love but that is because you have been in a very long journey of filling your cup i'm seeing this as a journey for the feminines who've been on it for at least one to two decades here and that along the way you have filled one cup at a time and you're here the rainbow is out the waterfall you are at a place of receiving now and the last cup at the top is you are receiving a higher form of consciousness. Your love life is ascending to a new level of engagement. And that is engagement with the partner you're presently with or the new love coming in. <coughs> and this can be a brand new love, but it could also be, because for many of you, before I started this video, I was feeling someone was returning to your life, okay? But I'm not, I don't know for sure. I'm seeing a lot of you, it's a new love coming in, and but it's a new love that's on the soul level. So are they returning to your life? Absolutely, because there's someone you know on a soul level from other lifetimes. Now let's look at the very last card here, the Two of Orbs. Now this message, though, I'm getting almost for another group of feminines and this would be the third scenario these are women that or divine feminines whether they're male or female that are in a relationship the two but it's not serving them anymore and you've been aware of it and you're now wanting you're wanting to make a decision on should you let it go or not some of you are going to let it go and you're going to walk ahead on your own because the pathway is clear ahead of her. She's walking away from the turmoil once she makes the decision and she's either going to choose to stay and work on the relationship or she's going to choose to go and open up to that new relationship or the new love that's out there somewhere in the world for her. And then another message I'm getting here for those of you that are perhaps single is you may have two suitors. You may have more than one. And you're going to enter a time of needing to make a choice around this. I'm not picking up that that time has quite arrived yet, though. Okay, we have not quite entered fall. So this is coming in. Let's get the other tarot deck. We have the Emperor. We have the Six of Swords, which is Healing Begins. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. We have Judgment, which in this deck is Blossom, The Magician, which is Manifest, and Justice, which is Detach. Wow, we've got so many. We've got almost all Major Arcana here for the Divine Feminine. Okay, let's look at this. You are looking up. What did I say? You're looking for your Emperor, or you're already with your Emperor, <laughs> your King. There he is. He's coming, I'm telling you, and he's coming in with a vengeance if he hasn't come in yet. 
He's been, for those of you who haven't received him yet, he has thought long and hard about this. He has cleared his past is what I'm getting. And he is coming. And he is coming with an offer, with a contract. But he's coming in very self-confident and assured. He really feels like you're going to accept what he has to offer. Okay, so the person coming in may be a little bit overconfident here. Not quite sure how to look at that. But he's going to want to discuss it with you. You two are going to sit down and talk about this. That's for some of you. And for some, you know, you're entering into this beautiful new beginning with your king or queen. And for others, healing begins. You're leaving a marriage or you've left a marriage and you're on a healing journey. And you have to be on it alone right now. You're wanting to heal. No wonder we got that healing card in the beginning. You want to heal and you want to heal your heart. And you want to be, be you want to heal so that you can then be on your throne again. But you're, I'm getting a lot of sensitivity here. Give yourself the downtime. Be antisocial for a while if you need to. Okay, it's the six of arrows, you know, which is a walking, which oftentimes can be a leaving of a partnership or a partnership falls apart. It's just not working. It's outlived its time. But it can also mean that the partnership does need an overhaul and that healing energy can come in to make it new. So I'm getting two messages for those of you that have been going through challenging times in your partnership that you're either leaving it and you're on a healing journey right now. You're coming back into you. You're blossoming. You're bringing back your son. I love this deck in terms of the judgment card because to me, is that the judgment? Yeah, it is. It's the 20, but it looks like the sun card. It's really about just everything blossoming. But, you know, judgment is about being on a very long journey of growth. And this card is a symbolization of that very long journey of growth where you finally come into yourself. And so whatever healing you still need to go to, to blossom, give yourself that time to get there. And the magician, the magician is the one card. So there's some of you that are wanting to be single right now because you've exited a relationship and you need that time of self-growth. And then for others, okay, wait, what am I getting here? For others that are in partnership, I'm getting that your partner is one or both of you are having to put a lot of time and energy into work and so there's going to be a time of not seeing each other or not seeing each other as much and so that'll give each of you an alone time more time to oneself to do the personal self-development okay that that was another message i'm getting and then lastly for those of you that are really ready for this divine sacred soul partnership to come in you're the manifester you are the magician and look at these two flames these are two flames coming together in a heart manifest what you want you are the manifester this is a brand new beginning here okay and i think it's interesting how we have it under the 10 so we have the one in the 10 yep you're ready. You are ready for this brand new beginning. And then we have the 11. A lot of emphasis here with the feminines, with ones and 11s and zeros and four. We have the four here as well, which is about laying the foundation. This is the justice card. And we have the judgment. Isn't that interesting that you have both the judgment and the justice card here, divine feminines? You are getting... The scales of balance are coming back in your favor. Whatever has been off balance in your love life, it is being put back into balance is what I'm seeing. But in order to get there, you need to set the bird free. 
set the past free. Don't be attached to the past anymore. The past is gone. Whatever happened in the past, you can heal from it now. You've been on a very long journey of healing and on filling your own cups. Let it go. Because what is coming to you now is something new. This is a new bird. And that is the bird of peace. I think this is the reconciliation card of someone, someone coming back from your past to bring in a new offer, the emperor. He was not an emperor before. He was a page or a knight. But now he's an emperor. And he is going to bring you a new offer. But in order to get there, you can't hold on to what happened in the past. Okay, that way I'm getting that message very strong here. Why? Because you're blossoming, blossoming, you're becoming her. And you know, we have the 11, the manifesto. We have all, in fact, we're ending with three ones in a row, aren't we? One, one, one. There's something very powerful coming in for the divine feminine. And it's a lot of new, a lot of new pathways here. Now let's look at the romance angels. I get got honeymoon, beautiful. So some of you are coming back from a vacation. Some of you are going on a vacation. Some of you are actually going on a honeymoon with your beloved. Trust. Trust in this love. Trust and have faith on this journey of love that you are on. For others, it's freeing yourself. Freeing yourself from a relationship that you know no longer works. But that is also freeing yourself from the past. Okay, because I guarantee you this person you're thinking about is not the same anymore. So free yourself from the past illusions and free yourself from any limiting, limiting belief systems that you cannot have this beloved love. Because I'm telling you right now, you're getting it. This and the Ten of Chalices, you're getting this partnership. So free, please free yourself from the illusion that you're not going to get it, okay? And then the last messages are flirt and romantic feelings. Be lighthearted for those of you that are single and for those of you that are just wanting to do more playful things with your partner. Bring lightness into your relationships. Share your feelings with one another. Your feelings are real. And I'm really getting this message. Oh my God, there's some women out there and I love you. And male, men too that are divine feminines. Guys, this person really does feel the same way you do. I'm here. I'm letting you know they do. They it just took them longer to see it. That's all. Please, if you need to slowly let them in, then slowly let them back in. But do it. Don't close the door. Let them in, please. They have these feelings for you. You are not imagining it. That's a message for someone out there. And the last two cards I got from the Whispers of Love, and it's interesting because this is speaking to two different women, two different groups. One, look at your pattern in relationships. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior in some form. Now, I was just talking to some of you about that, right? Free yourself from thinking that you're not worthy or that you're the one that will be left out in the cold. Somehow, it's not going to happen to you. It'll happen to everyone else around you, but it's not going to happen to you. That is a behavior or thought form you need to modify because it is creating a prison around you. And you need, and you're the unicorn in that prison, honey. You are that beautiful enchanted being. Get out of that prison. Get out of those chains. And this can also be for some of you recognizing why you keep going from relationship to relationship and yet the same thing happens over and over again. What is the pattern here? and recognize what that pattern is. I have a feeling it has to do with self-worth and self-love. And we had Sekhmet guiding the way in the beginning, right? Recognize how divine and beautiful and worthy you are. You are that unicorn and that you need to attract a king. 
another beloved white unicorn, okay? Not someone who's not that. And then the other message is for all of those out there that don't fit into that scenario, true love. This love is once in a lifetime. And isn't this what this journey is all about? It's about true love. Look at the unicorns up there, okay. Okay, beloved feminines. Yes, you have a sacred unicorn out there. You're not alone. That's the message they were trying to give me. You are not alone. Free yourself from that thought and know that your sacred beloved is waiting for you. They are waiting for you to set yourself free. And they're coming to you. I promise you that they are coming and they are coming this fall. I love you all. I would love any comments that you want to leave me. And please, if there's a future video that you would like me to do on a specific topic, or if there's a specific question that I can do a very short video on, I'm very open to doing that, sending you all my love.